The water's way low. The water was over the top of this stump, like way over top of it. Last time I was here, that's wild. And that stump in front of me I just cast next to, that was underwater too. That was probably like a foot underwater. Oh, there's bass right there. <laughs> I just watched the whole thing. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's super green, splashing everywhere. Decent little guy. Blinding this eye right here. He's got on the other eye. Pretty little dude. Let's see if there's more like that. I think, goodbye. But anyways, I think he got drawn out by the sound of the plopper. I stood up just to look around and I see him just sitting there and I pitched back over there in front of him, plopped it a couple times and he came up and eat it. I think that camera caught it too of him eating it. And as you can tell, I'm in a different kayak again. I got another one. This is the Hobie Lynx. I've had it before, but I sold it to buy something else, I think. I don't know. I didn't really want to sell it. But I did, and I regretted it every time I wanted something quick and easy to go fish with. So that's why I have it again. So um, let me get out of the sun. But yeah, that's why I have this kayak again. It's just for something that's quick and easy. Getting to places like this, little creeks and stuff like that. I don't plan on doing full-time tournament stuff in it, but I do plan on doing like some tournaments that are kind of hard on the bigger kayak with the trolling motor and everything like that. So that's what this is going to be used for. Just for fun fishing, going out in the flats for redfish, and one or two tournaments that are, you know, that really calls for this platform. But I just absolutely love this kayak. It's like a dream kayak. It's so light and easy to pick up. Got these A-trails added onto it, so I can just pick it up by that. Anyways, I'll go over this whole kayak and how I have it set up and stuff like that. Yeah, we're just going to continue fishing this creek and see if we can get some more like that. The water has dropped a lot since the last time I've been here. It's dropped probably like two to three foot. Yeah, that's a lot. So that was my first fish I caught, the first fish I saw. I saw a bunch of little ones, but that's the first okay one, you know. So that was pretty cool. Sight fish that one and uh yeah just gonna keep going. See if we can get some more and just enjoy this nice day out on the creek. And I know you can't see me standing up. You're probably just looking at my legs. I'm not gonna move the camera up and down every time I stand up to look around. I don't really, I can't really move standing up like I do in the PA. And you're probably just wondering like, okay, so you got rid of the the Outback because it just didn't work. True. It didn't work for tournament fishing. So I got the PA back, but I'm keeping the PA. I'm not getting rid of the PA at all. I'm going to keep the PA. I'm going to keep this. This is a quick grab and go just to have fun. You'll probably see me in this a lot more now that the tournament season's kind of dwindling down. So you'll see me in this more often. Setting up the PA just to go fun fish just made it not fun, to be honest. Just because there's so much like the motor. And if I don't want to bring the motor, then I got to pedal. But pedaling that thing just takes a toll on me. Everyone's different, but it takes a toll on me. This pedaling this is just effortless to me. And it just makes it so much more enjoyable. People complain about the noise and stuff, but I don't really have a problem with the noise. It's not very noisy I don't think. If you put scupper plugs in the back plugs here it quiets down the kayak a lot so. And the thing turns on a dime too like you see how slow I'm moving watch I'll turn it to the right boom to the right boom stop go back to the left I'm not even pedaling and it's already doing that watch so it's going to the left turn to the right and it's starting to go without me doing anything. No. Oh. I thought it was low enough. Dang, this place got clogged up. This doesn't look too promising. Not at all. Oh my God. That was a good one. Did you hear that thing? I don't think it's gonna bite again, but at least I know there's something there. There are two treble hooks. I don't understand how they miss it. Whoa. Got one, a little guy. Whoa. <laughs> it's 
small guy. Goodbye. One, two, buckle my shoe. Gotta make sure you get it all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Hi, today I wanna to show you the Lynx, the brand new kayak that I just got. But I just wanna go over how I have everything set up. Super simple. I, this is a grab and go kayak, like super easy to just throw in the truck and just go fish. So I'm gonna go to my phone. I'm gonna go from the bow to the back. It's gonna be really fast because there's really nothing to it. This isn't a review video. There's enough review videos out there for this kayak. This is just me showing you how I have everything set up. And if you have a Lynx or thinking about getting one, maybe it gives you some ideas on how you wanna set yours up. But it's gonna be super simple and easy. It's nothing crazy. Okay, from the front, I got my cooler. Just a day lunchbox cooler. And then I got my broken twigs net. I love this thing. It works really well and it's super strong. I ran over it on accident. Some people may call me dumb, but I don't care. Anyways, keep on going. We got my other camera right here with a port. So with that port, it's normally a T bolt on the bottom. I take that bolt out, take the nut out, and then I just put a number 14 uh, sheet metal screw where that bolt would be. And it goes into that, one of these ports. It goes in here. I got the H rails with the track set up in them. So those are nice. With the track, I have that rod holder set up. So I can stage my rod when I'm landing a fish and stuff like that. On this side, I have the Yakitek H-Rail Mighty Mount deals with roto grips to hold my paddle. But I think after fishing with it today, I'm gonna switch it off to the other side because I land my fish on this side and the paddle just gets in the way. And keep on going, got my seat. I got the backpack for the seat. The thing with the seat though, it looks like you can only have the top straps. The bottom straps don't go to anything. So it just kind of hangs there, which is fine. It, it works fine. And then I underneath the seat, I have this anchor just in case I need it. And I don't plan on fishing anything deeper than like four foot with this thing. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to use a power pole. This anchor will do just fine. And the power pole just gets in the way with like overhanging trees and stuff like that. Got this little scissor cutter thing for line. And then I just have my board down here for now. I think that's fine. I don't know. We'll keep on going back. I got my black pack. This is the small black pack. Uh, I had this with the Outback and I'm glad I kept it because this is perfect for the links. Well, on the side here, it's Got some ports there, ports there for the camera mount. For that camera mount there, that's how I keep the steady shots. Doesn't move around too much when I'm setting the hook. Yeah, so, and then you got the power. Whoa, I'm about to fall in. Whoa. To power it is inside this black pack. So I got a dual tackle box there. So you got all my tackle there, worms thermocell and a battery and a whistle and a headlamp so there's my battery to power this and it powers it all day then two rods i'm the most i'm going to bring is three rods that's fine i mean it's just a light fishing rig you know i'm not planning on carrying everything and then right here you put your scupper plugs in here. These are just generic ones you can get from Bass Pro. They fit down in there just fine. Just like pops out, boop. And then you just push it back down in there and it's good. What I've found is with those plugs, the hole gets so much quieter. Without the plugs, you can hear a lot more like bubbling and all kinds of noise and stuff like that. So put the plugs in, it makes the hole just that much quieter. It's nice. I don't really have a problem with the sound of this i think it's fine i haven't had any issues when i had the orange one when i went red fishing with the orange one it didn't seem to scare the redfish at all so the noise isn't a deal and then rod holder there no power pole i don't plan on putting a power pole and then your rudder there which is you know if you've watched other videos if you watch other videos that's how you pull the, the rudder 
stuff like that. So I think that's everything, you know, I'm not going to do anything else to it. I may put a full deck pad. I don't know, maybe not, who knows, but I am just going to move that paddle over on the other side and I may get seat risers. That's the only thing. That's the only thing I'm gonna do to it. But that's it, you know, not a whole lot going on here. It's just a simple, nice, easy rig just to put in the truck and go fish. I don't have to set up a trolling motor, fish finder, all this other stuff. Just got a pain. And then I don't have to worry about towing a trailer and the trailer tires blowing and all this other stuff that you have to worry about. There's some bluegill, but yeah, I'm just, this is like a dream kayak just for fun fishing and just, I just love it. It's, it's perfect for everything around here in Florida anyways. Little creeks, small lakes, Indian River, Mosquito Lagoon. I can just do everything in this thing and have a blast. I think that's about it. I told you it's gonna be pretty fast, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the bottom, subscribe if you've not subscribed yet. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.